Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Friday night pie of the week. Yeah, Friday night pie of the week. I'm doing my favorite pie. I'm going to kind of change it up a little. Lemon meringue pie. Only thing I'm doing differently is going to be more creamier. I'm going to add milk instead of water. Most time when I make lemon meringue pie, I add water to it. But tonight I'm doing milk. It's gonna give it more creamier texture and just just changes the whole complexion of the lemon rain pie. So anyway, y'all, this is if you haven't heard the history of me, this is the first dessert I ever made growing up. At 12 years old, I used to make these at home and uh sell them for the church. I used to sell them for five dollars a pie. Yeah, five dollars a pie growing up at 12 years old, making raising money for the church. That's how, I, that's how I learned how to do so many methods, cooking on the double boiler, uh, tempering the eggs, things like that, making slurry, things like that. I learned that at an early age because uh, that's all these steps. Making my rain, getting to get the stiff peaks, adding the cream of tartar, adding the sugar slowly. All these techniques is in this pie. And there's a lot of techniques I learned from a young age of making one pie. So anyway, y'all, let's get started here. I got over here my pot here. We're gonna make this pot, make this, uh, what we gonna do first. I'm gonna do a little bit different than when I was growing up. I learned the easy way to do these things. I'm gonna mix my cornstarch and my sugar uh, together in the beginning. The fire's not on, y'all, yet. I'll mix this up in here. You can mix this together in a bowl too, but I say, why well, mess up another bowl? You can do it right here in the in the pot. Normally, when I was growing up, I used to get a double boiler. Of course, double boilers are getting pretty much obsolete now because all the pots now are so thick bottom. You know, I grew up, we had them little cheap pots. Uh, my mom had, you know, what we could afford, and they were scorched very easily, so we had a double boiler. I would use up. Cause I don't use double ballers. Very nobody, very seldom use double ballers anymore, y'all. Like I say, it would come a long way in the in the in the quality of the pots and pans. Okay, now I got my cornstarch and sugar mixed together. Now all I'm gonna do is add my milk. Now get it all mixed up. Then I'm gonna turn my fire on. Like I say, you know me on this step, y'all. I would add water to this. I still don't have my fire on y'all yet. I want to get it all mixed up first before I turn my fire on. Okay, now, I got my fire on here. Now, well, we're going to let this come to a boil, and it's going to slightly thicken. And once it starts to thicken, we're going to come back. And I got some egg yolks here. See my egg yolks? I got separated, five egg yolks. And I saved the whites for the top, for the meringue. We're going to add a little of this, which is called tempering, where I told y'all. We're going to add a little hot to the to the uh, egg yolks and get them to the same temperature as this. And then we'll throw them in there. If I throw the egg yolks in the hot liquid, it's going to scramble the eggs right away. And I don't want that. So right now, I'm going to step off, y'all. I'm going to let this come to a boil. I'll come back when it's time to add the egg yolks to this. Be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Okay, let me turn this down. You see how this starting to thicken? See that? See that thickening like that? That's what you want, y'all. Nice and smooth, creamy. See that? Nice. Now, what I'm going to do, y'all, actually, I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn it off because I definitely don't want it to cook while I'm doing what I'm about to do. So I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to turn it back on in just a second. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to take some of this hot liquid, y'all, and put in these eggs. Because I want these eggs to be the same temperature pretty much as the... As the make sure you get it good and mixed together, y'all. It's very important. Mix together very, very good. Because if I put those eggs and yolks in there, Without doing this process, y'all, we're gonna have scrambled eggs. Okay, They're all mixed up together. Now what I'm gonna do, turn this back on. 
And we're gonna throw the eggs in there like this, y'all. See that? Gonna give it that nice, good color. Get the rest of it out of here. Alrighty. I'm gonna let this cook a little more. Let the eggs cook out there. See how pretty those are. I still haven't added my lemon juice to this yet. I'm gonna let, let that cook a little. Now, that's starting to thicken even more. See that? Now, we're gonna add our lemon juice to this. It's gonna kinda thin it out a little, but it'll thicken back up, y'all. Yeah, got the lemon juice in there. Okay, now we're gonna add our lemon extract. Add a little lemon extract to that. So you keep stirring in it. And I add our regular vanilla to this. Alrighty. Now, now that last thing I like to do, y'all, I like to mount it with a little butter to give it that little shine. That's just something, a little touch I've learned to do throughout the years. Give it that extra richness. See that? Give it that little shine. See how it gives it a little shine there? Okay, I'm going to let this cook by two more minutes, y'all. We're going to come back. We're going to put it in our pie crust. It's fully cooked. And then we're going to make a meringue. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Okay. Thing got to the full thickness that I wanted to. Okay. I turn it off. Now, all I'm going to do now, y'all, I'm going to take it over here. Come on, y'all. I'm going to move y'all over in just a second. Move y'all over here to my fully cooked pie shell. We're just gonna pour this right in there, y'all. Right in here like this. Get all that out of there. See that? Okay. Now we're gonna kind of set this right here to the side. Get ring shot, let it start soaking, y'all. One second here, y'all. Work with me here. Y'all know I, I like to clean as I go here. Okay. See that nice pie shell, nice cooked pie? Beautiful. Now, we're going to move over here to our mixer. We're going to mix our egg whites up. And it's best if your egg whites is room temperature, y'all. It works so much better. So all I'm gonna add to that is vanilla, sugar, and cream of tartar. That's all I'm gonna put in this. But I need to let it to come to soft peach, which is gonna take about a minute. And I'm gonna show you the rest of the process. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Now, when it gets to this level here, y'all, I like to start adding my sugar very slowly. Vanilla, a little vanilla to this. Get my cream of tartar. I think I got a little cream of tartar left, y'all. Got a little left in there. Just enough to do what I need to do, y'all. I'm gonna let this mix about two more minutes and it'll be ready. All right, y'all, we back. Let me show you what you want here. See this? That's pretty much you, what you want. See those shift peaks of the marine? See that? See that? That's what you want. So we're gonna put that in the, 
get this off the thing here. Then we're gonna come back here. Move over here, y'all. Okay, and we're just gonna put it on the pot here. I kinda like to start in the middle. I like to start in the middle, y'all, and work my way to the edges. Start in the middle, we're gonna work our way to the edges, y'all. One second, let's get it all in here. Get it all in there first, and then we'll work our way. And my mama, she loves memory <laughs> pie. But she don't like to. I'm gonna tell you what she called it. She called it calf slobber. <laughs> That's what she called it. You see, yeah, baby, I don't want none of that calf slobber on my pie. <laughs> All right, mama. I absolutely love it, though, y'all. I can take it or leave it. I know my. Don't laugh at my pie shell, y'all. Hey, it ain't the perfect one. Perfect ones. Perfect ones you can ever see from me, but. Hey, it'll work in a pinch. I wanted lemon meringue pie this weekend. So guess what? Chef Jeff is getting him some lemon meringue pie. Okay, you just go to the edges like this. Very important that it touch the edge, y'all. That way, it doesn't come apart later on. So you wanna make sure it's touching that as much as possible. Touching the uh, uh, pie crust. There we go. And once we get it all to the edge, we'll come back and make it nice, nice as we can. But the first thing we want to make sure it's sealed to the edges, y'all. There we go. Now, all we do, y'all, hold on just a second. Where's my bowl at? Oh, I can kind of do what I want to do here. You just kind of, you know, do the peaks like that. I know y'all have seen this before. Just do that and get your little, your little peaks. See that? That's how you get your little peak peak thingies. There's no size and how many peaks you're supposed to have on there. How long they're supposed to be and all that. Just do them like you want to do. It's a good thing to do for your kids. Get your kids help. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes until it get nice golden brown. We're gonna come back. We gotta let it set up. I, I really gotta let it get completely cool, y'all, before you can cut it. So anyway, y'all, we will be right back once you come out the oven. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, just took the pie out the oven. Look at this here. Nice golden brown. Nice stiff peaks there. And of course, y'all, I would love to cut into this pie right now, but I can't do it. This pie got to be completely, completely, did I say completely? Completely cool before you can cut it. If not, it's just going to fall apart like soup. Yeah, so that was that was my pet peeve when I was growing up. I wanted that lemon meringue pie so bad to have a peeve. And this is one of my daddy's favorite pies, too, growing up, was lemon meringue. He loved it. But it was a lady down the street from me. Her name was come Mabel, Mabel Robinson. She made that to this day. Even I tell her songs this. And her daughters. She made the best lemon rain pie I ever tasted in my life. I cannot. I wish I because I was so young when she passed away. I think I was in college when she passed away. I never even got to watch her make it. Even got to get the recipe. But you couldn't, you couldn't, I, I haven't tasted to this day. Better than my mom, better than my grandmother. Her name was Mabel Roberts. Come Mabel, I called her. A little, little short old lady. Of course, she was old when I was young, because she was elderly. But she was a little short lady. And she used to sell pies, too. And man, her pie, she made a home crust. The pie was just so creamy and lemony. I don't know what she did. And I could just, like, taste it. Right now, but I'm telling you about it, I can just taste it in my mind how good it was. It was just cooking back in them days. I know she probably didn't imagine nothing, probably didn't have a recipe. It was the best lemon rain pie I've ever had in my life. But anyway, y'all, just, <clears throat> just reminiscing on my childhood growing up. It's just little things like that. Little, little simple things like a lemon pie just bring back my childhood memories. 
So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna let this cool off and I will be back uh, probably about six, seven hours. That's how long it's gonna take to cool this thing off. And we'll cut it and we'll see how it is. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Friday night, pile of the week, almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I still could let it set up a little bit more, y'all, but I just could not wait, y'all. I couldn't wait. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Nothing like lemon cream pie. Mm. Like I say, it could have set up another couple of hours, but hey. Mm. Nice and lemony. And you also can put lemon zest in it if you want to. Mm. That's like lemon cream pie, lemon meringue pie, y'all. See there? Mm. Look at that. I can eat this half a pie right here, but don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me on this. A little bit more piece here. We're gonna hmm, hold this video out. All right, y'all. Let me close the video out. <clears throat> if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsocial.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.